Welcome back to the 9th June program, and today we're playing more in the Players' Cup Day 2. I only have four more games, so this might be one video, or, or maybe two, we'll see. My middle part with, like, my entire forehead. You like that? It's so much forehead. Alright, so, Cinderace Whimsicott is really good. Um, he also has, like, the generic, um, you know, Series 6 team. Six band mons. I can't talk. I have five. Okay. Wim's got it's kind of an easy matchup. Um, I think he could lead that or drag. Either one really. Venusaur does really well against. He has a lot of stuff that Venusaur doesn't love, but it's probably okay. We'll lead Venusaur with maybe Togue. Switch to Torkoal. And then Cinderor. And Cinderor would be a good lead as well with Togekiss. So that's what we're actually going to go. Venusaur. And then we're going to have Togekiss in the back. I think this is good. Maybe the T-Tar route's better. Um, you know, it is a strong win con against just about everything he has. You know, and honestly, this is a... This is a... This is a trick room game if I've ever seen one. But we're already in it. So this is what we're doing. Um... Yeah, this is definitely one of the matchups, though, where you go for a Trick Room. Because um, Tyranitar is a really strong win con against every single Pokemon here. Like, Weakness Policy, Trick Room, uh, Minus One Speed, Bulldoze, Tyranitar. Kind of a mistake. Probably a whiff um, of a game. Probably not that great. I also led in Sin, so we'll see what his slower Pokemon is. Okay, so he leads Cinderace and Whimsicott, which is fine. Um, you know, gets up a Tailwind and then attacks. Yikes. Um, I'm not going to set Sun. Because then his Pyro Ball kills me. So what we're going to do here. Is we're going for a Quake. I'm kidding. It's going to turn into, into Flying. So. This is a Togekiss Max game I think. I think. Might just go Sludge. Protect would be good. Oh, I ran out of time, maybe. I might have ran out of time. I really hope I didn't run out of time. Even if you input it with, like, two or three seconds, it'll still sometimes just, like, miscommunicate. So, we'll see. I think Flare Blitz is my first attack. So, if it Flare Blitz, um, I think it would Flare Blitz the Whimsicott, which honestly wouldn't be the worst. But, yeah, Protect and Parting Shot is the play that I wanted. So... Let's see. Helping hand. Protect. So it read that play at least. So I think we're just good. I think it read our play. Airstream. And it protected. Well, parting shot. Now it's going to be minus two. Which is good. Um, this is still going to do so much damage. Yeah, Venusaur is not maxing anymore this game. Which is really unfortunate. Because like, when you bring Venusaur, a lot of the time it's, it's going to max. So. But it's okay. It's plus one speed. Now, even if I switch into Torkoal, it's outspeeding me. It read our play, so that's good. We're minus, uh, minus two, the Cinderace, which is really strong. Even with Helping Hand, it's just going to go back to plus, uh, minus one, which is still, like, not that bad. Now we bring in Togekiss, I think, and just max it. Because now we're doing a chunk. A hefty, hefty chunk. And I think it's probably going to, like, Iron Head. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch... Tune and Sin. And we're gonna... Max Flare the Cinderace. I'm gonna make a meta. I'm gonna make a call here. Might be bad. But if we call this right, and it goes for an Iron Head, then we end this man's career. So that's what I'm going for. It's it's a it's a it's a medium play, but he's gonna be minus three, so his uh, his Iron Head or his Max Steel Spike won't do too much damage, and it buffs physical defense, so we'll still be able to take it down most likely. And with a crit, it's definitely dead. We might need a crit though. Might need a crit though. Also, it might just airstream again. In which case, the our own airstream would have been much better, but. 
you make sometimes you have to make these plays right sometimes you gotta make the, the crazy plays switcheroo oh no meta I lose then I lose there's nothing else I can say I lose the game okay what an insane play look at that dude we would have been so perfect oh my god you got me I didn't respect that yeah there's no coming back I, I can't win the game he switches out of Cinderace next turn he got unbelievable amount of of like good stuff out of that we bring in Venusaur dude that sucks that sucks it sucks a lot um, we can fake out in heat wave I think it should take it out with Sun um, the Cinderace but yeah we can still win but probably not that was ridiculous Cinderace still has a turn stupid game dude it's minus three though so whatever it attacks it's not doing that much damage the fake out was very obvious knuckle oh, it'll do like 50% to, to, to insane probably minus three but it's helping handed. Pretty close. 60%. Now it's back to plus. Or now it's back to minus 2. Do a lot of damage. Knockout whim. Dude, suck. You suck. Yeah, this was a T-Tar game. Um, this was a T-Tar game if I ever have seen one. What were the odds of the switcheroo, though? To be fair, like. 1? Why would I have assumed that? What's in the back? Um, T-Tar and Rillaboom, probably. Or T-Tar and Ensign? Probably T-Tar and Ensign. So we'll fly Blitz into this. Because that's going to take an attack. Not great. Heat Wave. Should I assume this is going to be T-Tar? Should I make the call again? Flare Blitz into Wim. And we'll go for a body press into Sind. Because I think it's going to switch. I think it's going to switch into T-Tar. He doesn't. What an insane guy, dude. This guy is making the weird plays. Alright. No Citrus. It's fine. Flare Blitz still kills, so... We just lose a little bit of HP back. Bounce? Nice. It's a good play. Body press was a big reveal. So that really sucks. I was, to be fair, like, that was a very obvious switch, in my opinion. I mean, it's minus three, dude. Like, why switch a Rue this turn? Like, I'm surprised he didn't just set Tailwind and switch. That would have been a much better play, in my opinion. But maybe he expected the body press. So, you know, good on ya. Bounce ain't gonna do nothing, though. Like, Bounce won't take out Sin from here. It'll just knock me down to my berry, and I'll go back to right where I am. So, yeah, we can still win this game. It's just really rough. Incin. That's what I was expecting in the back. I'm thinking it's Incin and T-Tar. You just fake out my Torkoal. Togas are win con. Venusaur is a really strong win con now, though, as well. Flare Blitz the Cinderace. It'll take it out, probably. And protect, because fake out's impending to the Torkoal, I think. Just protect. Nothing really will happen this turn. Um, I'll lose my Iguav Berry. If he fake out the Ensign, that's insane. Yeah, he wouldn't do that. Bounce. Yeah, it comes down on Ensign. We live. Barely. I knew. I figured we were going to live, though. And then a Guav. And then Flare Blitz should just take out the Cinderace. But it is plus one or plus two. Special, or defense, and I'm minus one. So I don't think we actually do take it out. But it is Sun Boosted. Very close. I need to preserve Ensign. We Pardon Shot the Ensign. And we'll body press again into the Cinderace slot. I, th This will take it out. He probably just takes out my instant, though. But I think that's fine. I think it's better to... Yeah, I think Ensign... I think we just attack the Cinderace with a body press. Because we take out Cinderace, but if he switches to T-Tar, then we take it out. That's what we have to do. And if it's Rillaboom in the back... I don't know. BT Tar though. Yeah, I figured. This might not take it out. I think it will. 
but it might not. Oh, uh, don't be Torkoal. Oh, yes. Oh, that was mine. <laughs> That's all right. Um, now we switched out, which is really good. I think, uh, you know, bringing in Togekiss here is pretty solid. Because I think Flare Blitz is probably coming in. And Togekiss is no longer nearly as insane as it would be if that was real. I, I kind of had to preserve it for the in-case. But, I mean, it still doesn't want to take damage here. But Parting Shot into Torkoal. Yeah, Body Press is really was really obvious. But now we have Dazzling Gleam. And uh, Iron Head. Yeah, yikes. It's bad. It's, bad. it's a bad position to be in as I... Uh, but actually, I don't think Parting Shot a activates on it because it's my it's it plays off defense. So I think this might still just knock it out. Oko, cool. Okay, cool. So we're still in a pretty solid position, I think. You know, um, that guy has to attack. Cinderace has to attack my Pokemon, and Cinderace is on a clock now. It loses next turn. So we just go for Protect on Torkoal and like switch. Bring back an Insin, and then it's just one Insin versus like a minus one in sin because we're going to switch against the world and by the world it's really not that much but it's it's relevant because we have body press which is really strong against it so we'll switch to Insin with the togekiss pre preserve that a little bit and just go for a protect um cinderace is going to attack the Insin slot and Insin will probably just fake out my pro my uh torkoal so I think we just go for another protect. It's safe. You know, it's safe. We get rid of the Cinderace. Watch Cinderace live with one HP. It might. It's very close to like the exact sandstorm damage. So there's a chance it doesn't. But after an intimidate, Incinna actually might live the uh the Cinderace attack, which is pretty cool. Oh, okay. Now it dies to the, the Iron Head 100%. A nifty little double there. Pretty interesting, though, because Cinderace natural... Oh, we did live, but we still die to the... Oh, he died to the life orb. Um, we still do die to sun, uh, Sandstorm. So that's pretty unfortunate because, like, the parting shot would have been insane here. Or not... Uh, I mean, fake out. Like, that would have been insane. But it's, I still think we're in a really solid position here. We bring in Togekiss and then start just firing off, you know, some attacks. And uh, body press on Torkoal is doing a lot of damage. And we don't need to switch out Torkoal anymore because we don't need the sun up for speed control. And body press is going to be our attack of, of choice anyway. And we don't want to buff his his flare blitz. So it's pretty good. Air Slash has a pretty good chance of flinching. We might just flinch him. Could go for a yawn. I think that's actually the best play. Over body press because it's not taking out Torkoal. I mean, we're a million defense. So, yeah. I'm pretty surprised we still managed to win this game. I think we win. Um, we might still get hacked out, but like I said, I think we're in a really good position. And if he goes passive and just parting shots, then I could just switch out. So, yeah, in a good position. Um, I mean, obviously we won. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, three more games today. And then I'm not going to play tonight, I think. I'm going to play tomorrow. But at three more games, we'll see where I can get to. I really want to just win all these. I mean, obviously, but yeah. So that was a good game, though. Um, that was a really powerful comeback. Like, the, the eject button, I wasn't expecting. So, yeah, it's definitely something you got to respect. And I just lost my Dynamax. And he got all three turns of his Cinderace Dynamax, but they were minus three. Uh, or minus a bunch, you know, throughout the turns. Like, minus one, turn one, and then minus two, and then minus three. But then helping hand in a bunch. So, still good. Um, here we have an almost Series 6 team. Not actually, though, because Whimsicott and Ensign. So it's not really Series 6 at all. Um, we have a Trick Room on his team. But Lapras doesn't... Or, uh, you know, Tyranitar doesn't really seem that powerful. I think it's another Togekiss Venusaur game. With Torkoal in the back. And then probably Ensign once again. Uh, it's just really strong. It's a really strong mode. And um, honestly, like, he doesn't get enough value out of Sun. Usually. And if I keep Sun up, then Ferrothorn's like a non-issue. So then we just have to worry about four other Pokemon. And if he doesn't go for the beat up strat, which I don't think he should because Togekiss. Well, we're in a pretty good position because we just lead um, Venusaur and Togekiss in. I think we just bring Incineroar again. I'm sorry, T-Tar Dusclops. I've brought you like not very much. I mean, I've, I've taken some really powerful victories with them. And Tyranitar is good in the back, like without Dusclops that frequently. But I've played 27 games now. I've probably brought Dusclops like... 
four or five maybe and that's being kind of gene uh like generous to it but it's definitely good like it's really good for the team and they have to respect the trick room option as well so it's very good and this four that i've brought almost every time is insanely powerful so yeah he, brought, he does bring Whimsicott Terrakion, which is pretty interesting. So I'm expecting Max Guard Tailwind, probably. Um, that's, like, the best play that he can do here. Uh, but I'm still going to go ahead and... Yeah, maybe we, we should have let in Sin. Because it would do the same, right? It would fake out the Whimsicott, and he would just have to switch. But it's fine. We're going to follow me, and we're going to go for the Vine Lash into the Terrakion. I still think it's just really strong. He's not getting up any offense. In the next turn, he'll, like, take out the Togekiss, sure. But then I still take out the Terrakion. So, like, this just takes out Terrakion either turn, right? Like, there's not really any fault to this. And we'll follow me. So, even if he, like, does some eject button strat, like, we're probably all right for a little. Um, and if he takes out Togekiss this turn with a Rockfall, we can't. Because we kill the Terrakion. If it doesn't max guard. It should max guard, though. I'm expecting a max guard. Nope. Okay. Maybe just protect. Protect Tailwind. Nope. Okay, Moon, moon Blast it is. Uh, so we just take that thing out. Terrakion is still going to get a lot of damage, I know. Um, Rock Slide's probably going to take out Togekiss, honestly. We live barely, which is really cool. Um, and then we Vine Lash, we take out the Terrakion. Oh, it's Rindo. That's neat. I, th I still think we take it out, though, because it didn't Dynamax. 1 HP. Alright, that's fine. It's in range now. Um, you know what, Terrakion? That was cool. But yeah, it's still dead. I think this knocks out. Yep, cool. That's gone. Unfortunately, Whimsicott is grass, so we don't get the Vine Lash damage, which would break Sash. Which is unfortunate, but overall, it's fine. I think uh, Togekiss is still something we want to preserve for the rest of the game. But it doesn't really have to. And we don't need the speed control now. Like, what's your Whimsicott going to do? like nothing so i think we just like make a switch here it's gonna get faked out i would just protect but it's gonna get faked out so we're gonna switch to instant and then just go for a quake i think maybe ooze is better but i think quake's probably the best play here quake the instant flareless does a chunk quake the instant if we let whimsicott go forever though it's pretty bad We'll get plus one special defenses um, for the Lapras, because I think Lapras is his last Pokemon. It's the only one that really makes sense for it to be, because he didn't Dynamax. Like, otherwise, he would have just Dynamaxed Terrakion and got for a Tailwind and then made an attack. Because with Rindo, it would have lived if it maxed. Okay. Whoa. So, max instant this game. It's going to be weird. Um, I think that's a very fair win con against uh, Sun teams with Venusaur, like max Venusaur. Um, because it lives a Quake, which is really good. Probably lives two Quakes, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Quake does, like, 35%, 40% here. So, good play on my opponent's part. We still get the minus one, though, um, which is really good. Yeah, he was just going to take out Tog. I don't blame him. That would be a good play. Um, but yeah, Max Quake here is going to do a big, big chunk. It's going to do a lot of damage. 50. Okay, so we just, it's in range. It's just Quaked, which is fine. I think it has to guard. It has parting shot, so it should definitely have guard. Unless it's just like full attacking and has like multiple different max darkness, that's fine. You know, lowers our defense, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, but like now we're kind of going for. Oh, that was a crit. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, we don't die to a moon blast, which is important. That means we can attack the Ensign this turn and not really care. Even if it guards, like it's kind of just whatever if it guards. You know, because we'll just Flare Blitz the Whimsicott. We could just, pr like, fake out. Wait, we brought this in. We just switched, right? Yeah, so I think we just fake out Whimsicott. And just Quake the Ensign. It's a safe play, and it's a good play. You know, if Ensign gets greedy and doesn't max guard, then we just, like... What do you do? Um, but I think he should max guard. I think he's going to max guard and fake out. We'll do a little bit of damage. Um, and then, you know, Vines at the end of the turn on the Ensign are good. But... I think the last Pokemon is probably Pharaoh, actually. Now that, like, he maxed the Ensign, it's either Pharaoh or Dusclops. And if it's Dusclops, then we just win. But if it's fake... It, all right, that's fine. That's a good Protect. Uh, a lot of, like, Whimsicott's commonly carry Protect. So he just goes for the passive play. That's fine. Uh, I should have oozed, but... 
you never know. Like, this was the safe play. Because nothing happens this turn, and that's fine if nothing happens this turn. Um, Earthquake still... Uh, or Earth Power should still take it out at that range, I would think. Earth Power might still... Might not, actually. We're plus two special defense. Wait, we're neutral. Okay. I think I just want to switch. He's going to he's gonna flare. We have Torkoal in the back. I think we just Flare Blitz the Whimsicott and switch. Or just Protect. Because we live, the, we live it. We should live it. And if we don't... It's bad. It's bad if we don't. I think we just switch to Torkoal here. He has one more turn of max. So we Flare Blitz and then switch to Torkoal. Next turn we hit him with a Heat Wave. And... Uh, yeah, looking pretty good at that point, you know. We can uh, we can make a good little switch around with uh, Insane if we got to, or we can even Parting Shot if we wanted to. So, I think this is a good play. Pretty safe. Now he goes for Tailwind. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm kind of surprised it came out this late, but, you know, it's better late than never. Max Flare will still do a good bit. Yeah, too much. Um, you know, I, it's not a lot of damage, but it's it's more than I wanted. Flare Blitz in here. This thing goes to its Sash immediately. What if it wasn't Sash? It'd be bad. It'd be bad. On the oh, we hit the burn though. A uh, GG, dude. Get out of here. He's probably flipping over there. Like he's probably throwing his table, throwing his Joy Cons, peeing himself. Guy's mad, dude. I would be. I would be mad. Ferrothorn comes out. Okay, so that's just G. G. Ferrothorn, look like look at our board presence. You know what I mean? We'll switch to Venusaur um, out of the Ensign. And then just body press the, the Ensign. Right? Just make it only Ferrothorn. Can't do anything. Gyro Ball shouldn't do much to Torkoal because it's slow. I'm tempted to yawn the Ferrothorn. We just, had, we just body press the Ensign. It's the safe play. I'm making the good plays. I feel like I'm making the safer plays. Like it's, pl I'm playing more passive most of my turns, but this is like a passive but also aggressive play, right? Because we get snarled. That's actually really strong. Um, Snarl is a little surprising, but that's okay. Venusaur, we can just switch right back out um, if we care. I also just don't really care, right? Because like it's not doing any damage to that thing anyway. Actually, no. Earth Power does a lot of damage, so. Okay, so he's he goes for body press, but look at that damage. It, it ain't nothing. We body press, take out the Ensign. Yeah, now we just switch around to Snarl again. Looking pretty good, right? We're faster than him with every single Pokemon. I don't even care that I'm minus one. Because it most likely has no regeneration. And if it's leftovers, then it's leftovers. I'm not really worried. Like, Earth Power does good damage, but we'll just be heat waving. Actually, I just, now I just want to yawn it. Because why wouldn't we? And then we can just double protect next turn and not care at all. Yeah. You can't win with a Ferrothorn against this. Like, it's impossible. So, yeah, that was fun. Two more wins for the books. Uh, I'm going to end this video here, but I'm probably going to record the other two games as well. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more Players' Cup content, let me know because I'm going to be doing... Like, I recorded a good bit of videos. I have, like, five videos. So, yeah, so far. And then I still have another day. So, I'll probably record a little bit more. Um, but, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Support the Patreon. All relevant links are going to be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. I hope you did well in the Players' Cup. And if you didn't play in the Players' Cup, it's fine. I almost didn't because of an accident. But yeah, I bye.